Ready to drive your next classic car event is this great looking 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner. It is an original 69 Roadrunner, two door hardtop. It's powered by a great run of 383, but is not numbers matching. The car does have power steering. It's got uh, aluminum valve covers. The engine's built. Bottom side of the hood is painted body color. Top of the inner fenders are done the same way. But you can see right where the motor and stuff is down there. On top of the frame rails, this car was a little lighter blue. Kind of what I'd call probably a D5 blue. It does have headers on it. It's got a big Holly four barrel with Elderbrock intake. As far as our hood gap on the driver's side is absolutely perfect. You look up and down from front to back, the hood fits great against the fender. Same thing on the passenger side. Grill's all been repainted, front bumper um, looks really nice. I don't see any major issues with the bumper at all. Chrome all appears real good on it, looks nice and straight. Grill looks great. This car is what I'd classify as a beautiful driver condition car. Um, paint was done a number of years ago, but it's got a gorgeous shine on a very nice straight body. Look up and down the sides, it's super straight, straight especially for a, a dark color. It's a dark blue metallic. Um, tires are excellent all the way around. It is um, riding on the, four, the original 14 inch um, rally wheels, Magna 500s. Front fender paint is excellent. No blisters anywhere down in that lower front fender. As we go to the door, it's got one small blister right here by my finger at the bottom of the door. And it's got one um, right here also very small. No surface rust on that blister or anything, but it is there. It's got a couple little scratches right here, but I bet they'd definitely buff out. They're just in the clear coat a little bit. Um, our door gap on the passenger side is excellent. Look how that door fits as you look up and down the side. Fits really nice and smooth. We open up that corner of the door on the passenger side. Um, door corner is perfect. It's all original, never been messed with. Gives you a good view of the bottom side of the door. Rubbers feel good and pliable still. They could be the original ones, they're not new. Door panels are original, very presentable. Armrests are nice. Dash pad, to me, I don't see here on the passenger side, it looks perfect. The dash itself is in excellent shape, except for it does have a Pioneer CD player that does work. All the dash lights, dome lights, that kind of stuff works. Uh, the dome light cover, they're about six or seven bucks that will need to be replaced. It's got a little overspray on it. It does have a crack. It's got the Roadrunner floor mats and the carpet's perfect. Um, when they painted the car, they did a great job painting the door jams. It all matches 100%. It's all nice and shiny. Um, looks like they had the doors off when they did it. Front seat on the car looks absolutely excellent. Don't see any issues anywhere in the front seat. The back seat's the original, so it does have a seam split right there. Other than that, the top of the back seat, um, driver's side of the seat, you know, it's all original, but looks great. It's got all the factory seat belts, front and rear. As far as our headliner goes, it does have a little slit in the headliner right behind the, uh, the seat belt. Back shelf's good. It's got some Pioneer speakers in the back shelf. It also has a uh, electric fuel pump. That's the, the little whining that you're hearing. It does have electric fuel pump. As we look at the lower rear quarter, um, no blisters anywhere on the passenger side. It's very straight, very nice. The undercarriage all appears solid as well. It's all been undercoated. Back 
bumper chrome is excellent on it. It's got the right, uh, the really nice chrome exhaust tips on it. Looks like they redid, uh, kind of restored and repainted all the uh, tail light bezels, stuff like that. Trunk lid's excellent. There's no blisters in the trunk lid that I can see. And as we go up and down and around, um, the gap fits excellent on the quarter panel. This Roadrunner looks great, but my favorite part of this car is the way it drives. I mean, it just handles excellent. It's got power. The kickdown works like it should. Um, it's just a really super nice turnkey driver. I mean, even though the paint job's older and it's got a couple little flaws, I mean, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's You can pull up to any classic car show and be super proud of this Roadrunner. The uh, paint in the around the back deck lid here and around the back window, trunk lid is perfect. I don't see any imperfections there. Um, no blisters behind the rear wheel, no blisters in front of the wheel. It's got one small little blister right there over top of the wheel well. Other than that, the wheel well's great. Quarter panel's great. Here's our gap on the driver's side door. It's nice and, nice and tight there. Same thing on the front fender. Whoever did this car did a great job gapping everything back once they took the doors and stuff off. Um, turning signals on the front fender all work. Paint is uh, perfect on the front fender and on the door. There's no blisters or scratches or dents or dings anywhere that I can see here on the driver's side, except for that small one I pointed out in the quarter panel, and that was right here. Other than that, the roof paint looks excellent on it. It's got a great shine. It does not need to be buffed out. Um, super nice car. The window felts all look original and the glass um, is in great shape. Windows go up and down nice. Roof rail rubber is good. Corner of the door on this side has had just a little bit of work done to it. Nothing major. Um, looks like they just put just a little bit of seam seal when they painted that right there. Uh, door panel's in good shape except for it does have a slit in it right here. As far as uh, oil pressure, it's got 25, 28 pounds of oil pressure after it's warmed up. Um, it's running about 185. Temp gauge works. Not sure how quite to turn the radio on. Um, the heater fan works. Uh, wipers work. park properly. Gas gauge works on it. We already talked about the dome lights uh, on the on the headliner. Also the courtesy lights down low are working. The inside of this car is in great shape. Those plastic pillars that go down to the dash pad are perfect. I've had a lot of Roadrunners and for some reason a lot of them have just been beat to heck and a lot of the plastic pieces inside and the doors don't line up. And This is just a really nice car. The dash the plastic on the, I'm sorry, the rubber dash is excellent. Um, the vinyl all across the bottom is in great shape. The glove box door lines up nice to the rest of the vinyl. Horn works, it's got the correct Roadrunner horn. Speedometer works great. turn signals work on the hood that'll kind of give you an idea there on the fender this car as far as the steering goes on it the brakes you name it it's it's an awesome driving car I wouldn't be afraid to jump in it and drive it anywhere you want to go the front end is just awesome on it
transmission shifts super hard. Really nice car. Here's our brakes at high speed. No hands on the wheel. Absolutely no pull either way. Does not need any brake work. Same thing with the steering. I mean, you can take your hands off the wheel. The steering's nice and tight. The only thing about the car that I changed, I'd probably get rid of that electric fuel pump and put just a regular fuel pump on it. Whoever buys this car is going to really enjoy driving it.